Through our Active Aging Workstream, RISE is committed to supporting our NHS partners to move the prescription of physical and social activity from a nice to do to a fundamental primary prevention and health management strategy. Two thirds of over 65s are living with multimorbidity and are likely to spend half of their remaining life expectancy in ill health. 10% of our over 65s also live with frailty, reducing their physical and mental resilience and increasing their vulnerability. At RISE, we share NHS ambitions to improve the health outcomes experienced by older adults across our local communities. We're committed to developing meaningful, collaborative partnerships at place, bringing together health and community sector partners to enhance proactive healthcare, optimise patient health and increase independence in later life. The Every Move Matters programme hopes to demonstrate an alternative approach to proactive patient support through activity-conscious social prescribing. The programme, which is delivered over eight consecutive weeks, combines components that motivate older adults to engage in physical activity, providing an opportunity to change physical, mental and social factors impacting on health trajectories. We would normally have people self-identify for programmes. This one was totally different for us, different approach. We got the opportunity to say, we think you're going to benefit from coming along to this. That can often give that little bit of boost of confidence to somebody who's not used to stepping up and saying, I want to do this, and invite from your GP practice. Ooh, what's that all about? I'll go and find out. We support people on a daily basis with long-term conditions about coping with life. Your well-being can be affected by your condition because if you feel like you've got no support, if you're not active, your pain management can be controlled by being active. This feels like the opportunity to grasp that for patients in a different environment. And really getting something like that together means hopefully we can have a positive outcome and better outcomes for people for longer. I got the bug straight away. I was really, really keen to do this. So my job was then come and speak to my wider team and say, hey, come on, we've got this opportunity. All of our patients can benefit from this. Shall we do it? Dead easy sell. They were on board straight away. Spoke to the community centre attached to us, you know, as one of our stakeholders, we're their stakeholder. Yes, they were uber keen too. So then meeting the team properly and just chatting everything through. We were totally on the same page and we were, yes, we can do this. And, you know, let's put Marsden Road, Warren Street, the whole project and South Tyneside on the map. We've got a unique opportunity here. Um, being in a building where we've got a community centre attached to one of our practices. Once this opportunity came along, we felt that we wanted to offer it to the local community. We know that doing a little bit of exercise is always good, as long as you can do a little bit. Um, doing a little bit hopefully boosts your mood, which means your well-being is then improved. And why not meet other people who want to be doing similar activities as yourself? We are very aware that as people get older, social isolation becomes a huge problem. And getting out and about into a building like this, where there's not only access to GP services, but also other activities mean that it's a gateway to endless possibilities and why wouldn't you want to be part of that? We've been able to sort of have the backing of the GP practices for them to then refer people in and take part in the programme. So we've worked closely with the GP practices from the onset of the project. So they initially identified patients via text messages who might be frail or isolated. They might not take part in physical activity, but they know they would benefit from such an intervention. So after um, they've sent out that text message, the patients have then come back and said, yes, I would like to take part. Active families have then contacted those people and get them engaged and signed up for the programme to then take part. So we're running weekly sessions and we're having everybody sit down if they're not able to stand up and we're making it inclusive so that they do it at their own level. We make it so no matter how they move, they can do it at their own rate and it's up to them how far they want to push themselves. Um, at first I think they were a bit nervous because they're coming in and they're like, are you going to make us do burpees while we're running around the room? And it's like, no, it's a bit of fun, don't take it serious. The important thing is that we're moving, so when we dance to the music, it's like, don't worry if you turn the wrong way or you're shaking your pom-poms in the wrong style, like, it's all right. You just hear to have a laugh and move, and that's the important part. Even just when they walk up and down the room, they're a bit more steadier, but even, like, personality-wise, they're coming out of the shell, they're talking, so they're helping each other when we are doing the movements, and they have a giggle and a laugh as we go along. 
everyone at week one comes in and it's generally speaking the the recognize that they're not doing as much as they should be but it's a, almost like a reluctance like you know like I mentioned there might be barriers and I think my job is kind of saying yeah we understand that you have this issue however let's see how we can overcome that and you definitely see a lot of people from week one going to actually you know by week four or five I can do that I can get out more I can do this so yeah, some really good positive case studies we've had as well. In terms of how we deliver as well, you know, like I mentioned before, I do a lot of like group-based discussion where I get them to discuss with one another like, experiences and kind of get them to almost give advice to one another. And I think, yeah, you, you see them having a good natter and a good laugh and carry on. And yeah, um, in previous sessions, like people have uh, kept in contact and like want to continue doing sessions together. So yeah, really positive to see as well. The staff are, are wonderful. Um, they're really friendly. Um, even the, the group are, are, are good. You know, you have a good laugh with them as well, which I think is important. You've got to enjoy what you're doing. It doesn't matter what level you're at, as long as you're enjoying it, you know, and it, it makes all the difference, I think, doesn't it, you know? I did fall out with exercise big time in COVID. Other than walking, I do still walk a lot. I think it's given us a bit more incentive to do something else. I would say, jump at it, do it, you know, because it's worth it, it makes you feel much better. Even if you don't feel straight away a fitness level, um, you know, you go out and you feel much better in yourself, you know, your own mind is focused for a little bit more exercise and just do it. Caroline's uh, really give us the incentive from not being able to walk, from being in a, a scooter to a perambulator, four, four wheel thing, to walking sticks and I'm getting much, much better just walking by myself. It's been the best thing in the world for us for ages, ages. They've given me uh, loads of self-confidence in myself again. I used to spend a lot of time just doing nothing. But I used to get up in the morning, make breakfast at 8 o'clock, sleep by 9 till 12, have my dinner, sleep in the afternoon and sleep at night time. So I've got now a motivation to, to get up and uh, I'd carry that exercises back home. And I do it two or three times a week, which is two or three times more than I used to. Me as a person and my sister as well, who wouldn't come out unless I came with her. We've enjoyed it. Maureen's make, um that's my biggest thing, she's been able to come out and I've come with her to help her. But the exercises are great because you can do them at home. You know, you can just sit, watch the telly do them. They've made you think about your whole body and your mind. Well, I didn't actually think I would enjoy it. It's something I would never do in a million years. But when I got the phone call, I thought, right, I'll just give it a bash. It's been good fun, actually. It's hilarious. It really is comical. But um, it's just been nice meeting different people in that. We've thoroughly enjoyed them. The, the, um... They're very good, um, and we're going to try and get to the other sessions. So, yeah, we've thoroughly enjoyed it. The staff are absolutely brilliant. Through the eight weeks, I never thought we'd get to this stage. But with the, the girls say, wow, it's been fun. We've met loads of people. It's been an eye-opener to know what you can do when you don't do it. And I didn't do it, but I can now. It would be good if we could offer the service to more people. We've already got a waiting list for the next cohort, so to be able to open that up and offer the service to more people, I think that would be really beneficial. <laughs>